Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. It's hump day. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Super excited to have this young gentleman, very patient young gentleman, on the show today. We have Colonel Drayden Gordon on the show. He's a performing artist, a creative. We love our creatives on the Ted Show, don't we? And so I'm very excited to have him on the show. He's going to perform a song for us. Welcome, Drayden. How are you this morning? I am great, Ted. Just want to start out by saying a great big howdy to you and howdy friends and neighbors out there watching. And uh, thanks so much for having me on the program. We've had some uh, kind of, we've had some, uh, been really a long time getting this thing scheduled, seems like, but I'm sure so glad we was able to get it all worked out, all the bugs worked out, and I'm glad to be here this morning with you. Well, I'm very happy to have you. I could listen to that accent of yours all day long it's awesome um and i mean that very respectfully i love Thank it you. uh so tell us about you i told you before we went live the audience loves an origin story so tell us a little bit about drayden gordon well you know it all started when i was about two years old i started up on stage with an old uh, hero of mine used to play bluegrass music called uh, melvin goins and he's uh He's since passed, but I was honored to get up. He used to always call me up on stage when I was starting about two years old. And I would get up there and kind of, and I would dance, really, is what I started out doing was dancing as a kind of a Appalachian style clogging. And went on doing that for a while. But about the age of seven, I guess it was, I began singing on stage. And um, then about the time I turned 11 or so, I began uh, playing guitar and singing on stage. I've been doing that ever since. I'm 17 right now i'll be uh 18 next week but uh you Happy know, I've had a great thank you so much thank you i've had a lot of uh, blessings and i am very grateful to god for what he's allowed me to do in this uh, wonderful crazy thing we call a music business you know and uh been blessed yes, and to work with a lot Jill of my for... heroes and all that stuff you know but uh, yes. i'm finally branching out and trying to do a whole lot of solo stuff and I'm very appreciative to people like you, Ted, that have these wonderful shows that allow us to get a little bit of a spotlight here. Well, I love the spot. I love the spotlight creatives, and I love the story. You're young enough to have a little bit of a story, but I love the fact that you seem like a very old soul. I'm sure you've heard that before. About <laughs> a time, just a time or two. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. So tell us about your musical process. Do you write your music? Do you Obviously, you play get guitar, which I saw earlier. Uh, what's the process like for you? Are you inspired by other artists? Do you cover other artists? Give us, give everybody kind of an idea of what the musical process is. Well, uh, you say musical process, and I say musical chaos. Um, <laughs> I, I can't say that there really is one big whole process that's kind of like, I guess my methods can be sort of unorthodox, uh, but... So I'm, I've never, I never really set out just to write a song, seems like. Um, I I might get a line or something in my head and that'll stick with me for a day or two or I'll, and I'll think of something else that might go with it, you know, and then uh, before you know it, I'll have a song where I have been known to have a line come up in my head and sit down in 15 minutes and have a song. It don't, <laughs> there's really no, uh, no orthodox procedure to it. But <laughs> like I said, it just kind of, chaos and whatever strikes you at the moment you know like i've said i never really set out to write one but uh on occasion you know i can come up with something put enough letters in the dictionary together to come up with a song you know <laughs> so tell me about uh plans it's 2022 so COVID is mostly thankfully behind us tell us about your plans do you tour do you you obviously perform live um you're 17 about to be 18 so is your whole goal to go out at 18 and conquer the world? It seems like you've already started that process. Uh, what's the future look like for you? Well, you know, right now I'm currently keeping a pretty busy schedule. Always would like to be a little bit busier, you know, but uh, we're, I've been very blessed that now that COVID's kind of getting behind us, like you said, to be able to get back in a lot of the venues and a lot of the shows and stuff and be able to work a lot of those again. Uh, prior to COVID, I was doing about 100 shows a year. We're not quite back up to that just yet with still some restrictions, you know, but um, uh, like, this, like I said, keeping a, a pretty uh, busy schedule right now and just looking to keep expanding that and to keep uh, keep making music, hopefully, that people like. Hopefully, they can relate to it, that I can relate to it, you know. I've always said if I can't 
do a song or do a show that people can relate to or that I can't relate to, I might as well pack it up and put the guitar under the bed. There ain't no use in me doing it. <laughs> well, we're going to hear your music in a second. We had a bunch of questions. They want to know what Colonel, you've got Colonel in front of your name. Where yes, did that come from? Absolutely. That is something that I always am honored and privileged to talk about. Uh, the Colonel is the great, uh, the highest civilian honor that the state of Kentucky can bestow upon its citizens. It's, or well, not just its citizens, but citizens worldwide. Um, of course, other colonels include uh, Winston Churchill, uh, Betty White, uh, Neil Armstrong, Ronald Reagan, Obama, whole lots of, lots of more great, uh, wonderful, inspirational people, of course, you know, but um, the Colonels really is a nonprofit organization that goes to help all of the uh, wonderful, a lot of the wonderful nonprofits here in the state of Kentucky. But uh, like I said, it is the state's highest civilian honor that they bestow. And I, what they tell me is that it's uh, not far underneath the Nobel Peace Prize because it's, I guess, the, about the next thing up that you'd have to get from the president if you get anything higher than this. I was 12 years old when they made me a colonel, one of the uh, most proud accomplishments of of my life for certain. I, I, it's something that I don't take lightly and I'm very, very proud and very honored to be a part of this wonderful organization. It does so much good and so much helps so much here in the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. I love that. I'm going to do some research. Um, yes, absolutely. Your bio was when I learned about it, I was like, that is so fascinating to me. So, all right. Well, enough about me asking questions. You know, the audience loves a song. So I'm going to take myself off and Colonel Drayden Gordon is going to perform for us. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to perform. Uh, maybe Absolutely. Yes. Going. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. This here is a single. This one's on uh, Nashville Entertainment Weekly Records. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to get just a quick little uh, refresher right there. You're good. <laughs> this one right here is one called A Soldier Story. And this is a song that I wrote. It's a uh, true story song, actually, written about a World War II veteran that I had the great privilege of meeting. And he was telling me some of his stories and some of the things that had happened to him in service, things that he had witnessed. And I really, like I said before, I had no intentions of writing writing a song about it. But I went home away from this meeting and I thought, you know what, that. Uh, that's really too good not to write about. So his story needs to be told and the story of untold millions, you know. Uh, so this song goes out to anybody that's a retired military or active military. We want to send this out to you and say a great big thank you for your service. This is one called A Soldier Story. He said, I see him raise the flag at Jima. Soldiers and I beside me in Japan, and I fought what seemed like a thousand battles. Didn't know if I would make it home again. There's memories I've got, I'm glad to have them. A few of them that I'd like to forget, like all the buddies that I saw dying. And I today tried to sink our ship. So thank you to the men and the women who fought to keep this country free. I will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance when they sing and won't say, Can you see? He said, I'm just a country boy from Kentucky, and that's all I'll ever be. But I love my God, my family, and my country, and I love this all to be free. Well, now he's growing old, he's been forgotten, like so many are, you know. But let us take the time to remember, still he didn't make it home. Well, thank you to the men and the women who fought to keep this country free. I will stand for the pledge of allegiance when they sing 
Oh, say, can you see? That was so good. Well, thank so, you. Truth, the truth be told, I take myself off because um, I never know if you guys are going to be good or bad when you perform. <laughs> well, I wasn't so, sure if I was I or not this early, you know. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. So uh, I had to remind myself several times, like, you're, you're just barely 18. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just again, it goes back to that old soul. I absolutely loved it, Drayden. Well, thank you so That's much. All right, my friend, tell them how they can find you. What's the best way to follow you, find you, buy your merch, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Uh, well, I will start off by saying that I love when y'all follow me. It's on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, all at Drayden.official. Of course, you can give me a like, subscribe, follow, and all that good stuff. Or you can go to my website, DraydenGordon.com. That's D-R-E-Y-D-E-N-G-O-R-D-O-N.com for tour updates and all that good stuff on there, as well as to learn more about me. Um, let's see here. I'm also on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, uh, Apple Music, and all those other streaming platforms that I really don't understand that <laughs> that I'm on. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, you can find me on any any place that you find your music. I always tell everybody, if I'm not on it, you don't need to be on it either. So um, <laughs> we're, uh, one, we're out there on all those different <laughs> platforms, and I would love for y'all to reach out and get in contact with, uh, with me or Jill or one of my uh, team members, you know, and we will be glad to uh, glad to hook you up with some merch or something. If you have yeah, something yeah. that you would like to like to purchase, I've got some shirts and CDs and all that good stuff, you know, for sale. So, uh, yes, absolutely. I'm excited for you and your future. Come back on any time, any time. We'd love to see you. Thank you so much, Ted. I really right. appreciate it. Thank Gordon, you. Gordon, everybody go to DraydenGordon.com or please reach out to him or anywhere on the social media platforms or the music platforms. This is why we got to do this. We got to support our creatives like Colonel Drayden Gordon. Y'all have a great day. Thank you, Drayden, so 